you yeah, are welcome back to this youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to administer antibiotics to your rabbit so this particular female rabbit i just win her kids today and i want to inject her antibiotics so that's how i do my own sometimes i prefer to go organic or i use injectable so for this particular female rabbit i prefer to use injectable antibiotics because the kids have actually stressed her a lot so that i'll start preparing her for the next breeding so one of the few reasons why i injected her antibiotics is that she has passed through a lot of stress and i noticed um a little wound on her neck just come closer so that we can see this i noticed the little wound on her neck here yeah so i want to be using antibiotics for it i want to be using antibiotics because the kids have been with her for like six weeks although she's very very healthy but i don't notice when she was trying to reach out to her feet this morning i just noticed the wound so that's why you need to be very very observant on your rabbit don't make them too sick sometimes i see a lot of people posting pictures of rabbits that have been um sick for a very long time maybe they start losing four and all of that and it has been very very like it has come to a point whereby the sickness is very severe so at that point treating it can be very very hard so today i want to be injecting antibiotics to this rabbit so this is my injectable antibiotics one thing you need to know is that when you are using injectable drugs please check at this administration and dosage check at the administration and dosage so that you know the dosage to actually administer to your rabbit normally i don't like injecting my rabbit overdose instead of injecting them overdose i like injecting them less yes less is is better than injecting them overdose so on this administration here it says this antibiotic should be injected intramuscular that's it's not on the neck you know most like this is the most major the major place we inject our rabbit on the neck here so intramuscular you inject it on the thigh so i want to be injecting the rabbit on the thigh and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that it's very easy because as a rabbit farmer you need to know how to use this shrink and your inject your um injectable drugs not everything not every little issue you have that you need to call a vet you need to know how to use this so um for this particular rabbit normally for the dosage and um administration what they put here i see um five kg per okay they say one meal per 2.5 to 5 kg weight one meal per 2.5 to 5 kg weight this particular rabbit is more than 2.5 kg the rabbit is more than 2.5 kg so i'm going to be injecting it 0.5 i don't want to inject it up to one meal normally what they said here is one meal pay 2.5 kg so when once it's up to 2.5 kg you can inject like one meal one meal per 2.5 to 5 kg but this rabbit is more than 2.5 kg this rabbit i think this rabbit is almost weighing 4 kg well i want to uh, inject it 0 0.5 a meal for three days consecutively that's what i want to use so i'm going to be putting in my shrink here then i'm going to be pulling out 0 0.5 meal out of here so 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 that i'm going to be pulling out right here as you guys can see 0 0.5 mil so this is where you see one mil here so this is in between uh one mil you get 0 0.5 at the middle there so that's what i want to be injecting it intramuscular intramuscular is on the thigh not on the back there are three places you can actually inject your rabbit you can inject it at the vein on the ear sometimes you notice your rabbit have pain on their ear sometimes there are some signals they will have you need to inject them on their ear that vein there sometimes you can inject them on their back and also on their thighs so after pulling out this today we are going to be injecting this rabbit on the thigh yeah, so when you want to inject a rabbit on the thigh, you just like pull out their hair from there a bit so that you can actually see. Then put in the shrink there and you push it in. You can see? Then that's all. And once you finish it, just try to like rub that place a bit, then that's all. So I hope you guys have learned this particular one from this video. Please do well to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
we bring you more and more updates on rabbit farming and other livestock farming do all to like this video if you have learned something subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell because if you don't turn it on when we post a video youtube will notify you but if you turn it on when once we post a video youtube will notify you that we have posted a video so that you can come and watch thank you for watching this video and do have a nice day until next time as i always say peace